Since the dawn of humanity we have gazed up at the night sky in wonder, the twinkling stars, the vast expanse of space have always beckoned us to explore. But what if there's an end to this cosmic tapestry? What if the universe has a boundary, a limit to its grandeur? This question has captivated scientists and philosophers for centuries. The idea of a finite universe is both intriguing and unsettling. It challenges our perception of reality, our place in existence. If the universe has an edge, what lies beyond it? Is it a wall, a barrier we can never cross, or is it something our minds can barely comprehend? Our journey has just begun, and the answers we seek may forever alter our understanding of the cosmos. Imagine a world confined within walls, a world where exploration is limited, where the unknown is not a distant horizon, but an impenetrable barrier. This is the unsettling image that emerges when we contemplate the possibility of a finite universe. The implications are profound, challenging our very understanding of existence. If the universe does have a limit, does that mean there's an outside? What would it be like? Would the laws of physics as we know them still apply? These questions lead us into the realm of metaphysics where science and philosophy intertwine in a cosmic dance of speculation. The concept of a finite universe also forces us to confront the nature of reality itself. Is our universe just one of many floating in a higher dimensional space like bubbles in a cosmic bath? Or is it a self-contained entity, a solitary island in the vast ocean of nothingness? To unravel the mystery of the universe's boundaries, we must first understand its shape. Cosmologists, the cosmic architects of our time, have proposed several models to describe the geometry of the universe. Each model offers a unique perspective on the question of infinity, painting different pictures of our cosmic prison. One possibility is that the universe is flat, extending infinitely in all directions like an endless sheet of paper. In this scenario, there are no walls, no boundaries to confine us. We could travel in any direction for eternity and never reach an end. Another possibility is that the universe is closed, curving in on itself like a sphere. In this model, space is finite but unbounded. We could travel in one direction and eventually end up back where we started, much like circumnavigating the globe. However, even in this scenario, there would be a limit to the total volume of the universe, a finite amount of space to explore. Adding another layer of complexity to this cosmic puzzle is the fact that our universe is expanding. Since the Big Bang, the fabric of space-time has been stretching, carrying galaxies away from each other like raisins in a rising loaf of bread. This expansion, driven by a mysterious force known as dark energy, further complicates the question of the universe's boundaries. If the universe is expanding infinitely, does that mean it was always infinite? Or did it have a finite beginning, a point in time before which there was nothing? The answer, as with many things in cosmology, remains elusive. Some theories suggest that the expansion will continue forever, eventually leading to a cold, dark universe where galaxies are so far apart that they are no longer visible from one another. This scenario, known as the Big Freeze, paints a rather bleak picture of the universe's fate. Section 5. The Cosmic Horizon our eventual boundary. Even if the universe is infinite, there's a limit to what we can observe. This limit is imposed by the speed of light, the cosmic speed limit that nothing in the universe can surpass. As we look out into the vast expanse of space, we are looking back in time. The light from distant galaxies has taken billions of years to reach us, providing a snapshot of the universe as it was in its infancy. However, there's a point beyond which we cannot see, no matter how powerful our telescopes may become. This point, known as the cosmic horizon, marks the boundary between the observable universe and the vast unknown that lies beyond. The cosmic horizon is not a fixed boundary in space, it's a constantly expanding sphere, growing as time passes and more light from distant regions of the universe reaches us. However, even as the observable universe expands, there will always be regions beyond our reach, hidden from view by the curtain of time. Section 6 the dark stream, a current in the cosmic ocean? The dark stream is a mysterious gravitational anomaly pulling galaxies towards a specific point in the universe. This challenges our understanding of the universe's structure and hints at structures beyond our cosmic horizon. If confirmed, it could be evidence of a massive concentration of matter like a supercluster or exotic particles. Such a structure could influence galaxy movement over vast distances. 
the dark stream raises the possibility of a more complex and interconnected universe. Section 7. The Speed of Light. Our Cosmic Speed Limit. One of the most fundamental laws of physics is that nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. This cosmic speed limit has profound implications for our exploration of the universe, setting a hard limit on how far we can travel and how much of the universe we can hope to see. Even if we could build a spaceship capable of traveling at the speed of light, it would still take billions of years to reach the edge of the observable universe, if such an edge even exists. The vast distances involved make interstellar travel a daunting prospect, at least with our current understanding of physics. The speed of light also limits our ability to communicate with potential civilizations on other planets. Even if we were to detect a signal from an alien civilization located in a nearby star system, it could take years or even decades for our message to reach them and for their reply to return. Section 8. A Universe of Walls the idea of a finite universe while unsettling is not without its own strange beauty. Imagine a universe where, if you travel far enough in one direction, you eventually encounter a wall, a barrier beyond which nothing exists. What would such a wall be like? Would it be smooth or rough, hot or cold? Some physicists have speculated that the universe might be a giant hologram, a three-dimensional projection of information encoded on a distant two-dimensional surface. In this scenario, the universe would have a finite amount of information and the walls of the universe would represent the limits of this information. Another possibility is that the universe is constantly being created and destroyed, with new regions of space-time popping into existence as old ones disappear. In this model, the universe would have no fixed boundaries, but there would still be a limit to how much of it we could ever hope to explore. Section 9 Trapped in a finite existence, the concept of a finite universe can be a sobering thought. It implies that we are, in a sense, trapped within a limited domain, unable to escape the confines of our cosmic prison. However, it's important to remember that even if the universe is finite, it's likely to be far larger than we can currently comprehend. The observable universe alone, the portion of the universe that we can see from Earth, is estimated to contain trillions of galaxies, each containing billions of stars. Even if the universe is finite, it's likely to be so vast that we could explore it for billions of years without ever encountering its edge. Furthermore, the concept of a finite universe doesn't necessarily preclude the possibility of other universes existing beyond our own. Just as our planet is but one of billions in the Milky Way galaxy, our universe could be just one of countless universes, each with its own unique properties and laws of physics. Section 10. The Universe. Prison or Playground. Whether the universe is finite or infinite, one thing is certain. It's a place of endless wonder and mystery. The more we learn about the cosmos, the more we realize how much we don't know. Every new discovery opens up new avenues of exploration, pushing the boundaries of our understanding further and further. Instead of viewing a potentially finite universe as a prison, we can choose to see it as a playground, a vast and intricate realm ripe for exploration. The universe is filled with wonders beyond our wildest imaginations, from black holes that warp the fabric of space-time to galaxies that stretch across billions of light-years. The pursuit of knowledge is a journey without end, and the universe is the ultimate destination. Whether we're searching for the answers to fundamental questions about the nature of reality, or simply marveling at the beauty of the cosmos, there's always something new to discover, something new to inspire us. Section 11. The Unending Quest for Knowledge. The question of whether the universe is finite or infinite is one that may never be definitively answered. However, the very act of asking such questions, of pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and challenging our assumptions about the nature of reality, is what makes us human. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we should embrace the unknown with a sense of wonder and excitement. The universe is a vast and mysterious place and we are fortunate to live in a time when we have the tools and the knowledge to begin to unravel its secrets. The quest for knowledge is a journey without end, a journey that will likely continue long after we are gone. But it's a journey worth taking, for it's in the pursuit of knowledge that we truly discover who we are and what our place is in the grand scheme of the cosmos.